Hello everyone and welcome to the third series. That's third series done. We've made it to series three. That's a point. It is actually. How did we do that? I actually don't know. <laughs> Been a thought that Colossal Vids and Shock 16's CDI experience would be on a third series. Who would have thought it? <laughs> well, I didn't think we'd get past series two, but here we are. <laughs> but here we are anyway. So yeah, this is the first episode of the third series of the CDI experience. Thanks and for joining us once again. Of course. If you're always. new to the series, welcome. If you're old to the series, Thanks for sticking around. Of course. We don't know why you're here. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're getting something out of it, then it yeah. can't be a bad thing. So uh, we thought, therefore, that we would start our brand new series with a really, really interesting, potentially uh, lost game, which never was. Lost game? Yeah. Lost game. Yeah. And we found it just for you. Someone very kindly, to be fair, someone really yeah. kindly put it up online, but <laughs> we, we, we'll, we'll just we say that we it. found we, it. We found it. It's actually down to us, so you've got us to thank for that. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically, it's a game that was never released back in the day. It was supposed to be, uh, you know, it's a demo, but apparently the levels on there are fully playable. Uh, but it is, yeah, a prototype because obviously it wasn't finished. And it's a quirky little platformer called Joe Guard. Joe Guard. So yeah, basically Shocks had never played this before, but I played it very, very briefly. I probably played a little bit of the, the level that comes up to start with and didn't get very far into it because I found it really difficult and the controls were really, really fiddly. So how complete is it? It's about two levels or something on this, isn't there? I guess two, Some... three. Depends how many they did, yeah. Yeah, something like that. Something I mean, like I only didn't even get, well, didn't even get that much into the first level. Right. But it was made by a company called Dima, or Dima, D-I-M-A. Yeah, but um, what is on it is playable, basically. Yeah, I mean, yeah. what I played seemed pretty did pretty fine, and they say online as well that they are sort of fully playable. It's not like so much is broken like in other things, like Mario's Wacky Worlds and stuff <laughs> like that, so. So yeah. Yeah. So, so without further ado. Let's start this. Let's have a look at it, see how Shocks gets on. Do, do, do. So yeah, it was. Um, I guess it would have been around sort of ninety five or ninety six um, that this was meant to be originally released, or you know, sort of finished so, off. Bottom three does nothing, right? Bottom two jumps. Ah, yeah, there we go. And but oh bottom, yeah, bottom one yeah. does that. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. Like when I played it briefly, yeah, he tries to act like he's very hench. Like what are you doing, Joe? Like a bodybuilder. What's his name? Yeah, Joe, isn't it? Yeah. What are you doing, Joe? So. Uh, and you'll also notice, guys, apart from the sound effects of collecting items and stuff, there is actually no music. <laughs> so obviously they didn't finish that um, at this point. Boing. And I think you can defeat, yeah, you can defeat enemies by jumping mm. on them. I mean, I mean, when I played this briefly before... Oh, you, can't, oh. you can't kill Mr. Squirrel. The angry squirrel. You can kill a lot of the enemies, but not the squirrel. Okay. Don't mess with the angry squirrel throwing acorns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, what I got from this when I played it briefly before is that it looks nice. It's aesthetically pleasing. Um, there's a lot of potential with the game. It's a shame they couldn't take it much further. But what we've seen at the moment, you know, it's got potential and, you know, it did have the ability to, to potentially be quite a good... Oh, have I felt about that? I felt about that. And fairly decent platform. Ah, oh, Mr. You literally, do you see what you just did there? You ran right into the acorn. Yeah. But that angry bloody squirrel. Just can't get the staff. Don't know what that, why, why is that squirrel so angry? Well, you've also done something. Yeah, no, I mean, he's, he's got acorns. Come on, what have we done? Don't know, but... Tell us what you've done to annoy him. <laughs> All I know is he's a squirrel, he's got acorns, that's literally all Why? the squirrel needs. What have you done to wind the squirrel <laughs> up? Come on. Ah. So you just stand on the balloon. You please don't even move. No. Toothbrush? Can you collect that toothbrush? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So where are you going now? Because there's spikes. I'm going over there. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, but you're going backwards. Am I? Well, you are. Oh, unless is it like a like a snake effect? Because I haven't got this far. You know, like the snake effect. You know, where you sort of go for a bit and then you've sort of gone like that. I reckon you go left to right, left to right, like so until you keep going upwards. That's right. Do you know? I was starting to wonder if they would sort of do that sort of effect. <laughs> 
So do I go that way? Uh, I don't know. There's no, there is a... Uh, oh, there's a ledge, but... Um, that clock did. don't know. I, I won't be able to get back, will I? Ooh, ooh. Whatever you do, just don't get on the acorn. Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, we can do that. Oh, you, how did you get past the squirrel? Because he... He killed you. Yeah. Didn't he? Should I jump over him? Try it. Oh, could you go through him? <laughs> oh, is there must be a difference between... Oh. Is that an owl? That's an owl. That's an owl. <laughs> did that thing just go green? Yeah, he put like a cross on him or something. Oh. Him. Waterfall that don't move? <laughs> Obviously, you can tell <laughs> yeah. that if they'd finished that, it would be clearly moving. <laughs> in fact, looking at that, it actually does remind me of you, you know that game, guys. Bubsy, Bubsy the Bobcat. Make a drive in the snares. Do you know what else it reminds me of with the sound effects? Sonic. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you said that. Do you know, that. like when he jumps on the spot, yeah, he's no. boing. Someone said, I'm glad you said that, because someone said online, actually, that just reminded me, someone said online that that's where the, sa the sound effects could have easily been sampled from, or um, they've noticed that as well, that a lot of people have picked up on that. And it makes me wonder, actually, you know, I'm not saying, that, I doubt they would have gotten permission from Sega. There must have been like a temporary thing they used while they were trying to get their sound effects It's like when you off. get a star's look, it sounds like, you know, like when you're on the bonus stage and you, you, you get in time to get the emerald yeah. and you hit the sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, yeah. in that, you talk about Sonic 1 where it goes yeah, around yeah, and, yeah. and it spins. It goes dunk, dunk, dunk when you hit the sides. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Too many spikes on those ledges. Like, yeah, I'd, I would have done the same. Yeah. Just avoided that, yeah. I think I go right away anyway. Look, just weird how the waterfalls are frozen. Me to go all, like, like, say. The waterfalls are frozen, but there's other things that are still moving. It's just unfinished, oh. isn't it? Hey! Oh. Boom! Oh, <laughs> it dropped. That was decent, man. <laughs> so then you have to do the same to get past him. Yeah. All right, yeah. Cool. Oh, so you can only get you when he's chucking acorns on your dome, basically. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Just watch the spikes, obviously. Uh, boom. Balloon. Yeah, you just—I guess you just jump on those, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Ooh. honestly, this is the one thing that really drives me mad. These things. You have to just. Sort of, I'm guessing, obviously, just jump up, get on the jump again. Yeah, go to the left. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to land on that balloon. Too high, isn't it? Just keep keep going, maybe. Oh yeah, you could jump that. Then the balloon. Yeah. The other thing I've noticed as well is that although it seems quite smooth at the minute, you do have to land on objects just at the right point, and you've got to get your timing so precise precise <laughs> otherwise you end up falling through the object or you just you know just just completely ruins the whole thing can i get on there no it looks like a door like a little door you could have gone through but guess not <laughs> i have no idea what the point there was, <laughs> was the i reckon if they'd finished it there would have been a, they would have put in like a, a reason as to why yeah, it does like that or, or they would have used that later on in the game oh is that it oh mate You did. You got further than I did. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh. Right, I'm gonna. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. So you just put boo. Boo. <laughs> That's what I would have put on my go. Boo. <laughs> like, I love the fact that all these nameless people that have got scores. <laughs> Who's okay. boo? I want boo. Did you even put boo? No, in? that's not idea. Not boo. Ah. <laughs> huh. Maybe I did that when I played it when I played it a little while back briefly. I take it you weren't um, impressed with your score, that's why, yeah. Yeah, I must have done. That is really weird. <laughs> Ooh. I must have done. <laughs> right, let's give so it another go again. So, while we're still sort of having another go, um, guys, do let us know in the comment section below if you're watching this now. Um, have you guys played this game before? Have you been able to download it? Um, have you been able to play it on the original hardware? And if so, what did you think of it? Do you think that it was, you know, a game that could have potentially have been quite good, had the um, the means to, you know, be a pretty decent game and could have even spawned some sequels in the process? Or do you think that actually it was just, just as well they stopped it because it wasn't going to amount to anything? So yeah, let us know if you have played it. Let us know. And if you haven't, let us know <laughs> first thoughts. What do you guys think, just seeing it on face value? Does it look a pretty quirky platform that you could get into? Or does it just, as I say, look like something that you would never have even touched with a barge pole? 
I think it looks alright, mate. I think it. I personally, yeah, I'm with you. Like, I, I think it looks really nice visually, uh, nice and colourful. Um, whether or not this Joe kid could have ended up <laughs> yeah. being a character that would have like I don't think he'd have gone on to. It might be nicking his sounds, but I don't think he's any Sonic, is he? No, I don't <laughs> think he would have had the potential to have been a potential mascot or anything. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I probably, probably wouldn't have had any kind of much influence in the gaming market after this game if it oh, had been Oh, why did I put the cross on him last time, man? Oh. Uh, you just dumped through him. I don't, what does the cross do? I don't know. Did, it's not... I don't know. <laughs> Is it a, like a checkpoint or something? Checkpoint. Checkpoint. Last time I no, died, did it take me back straight there? I don't even remember. I don't... Because I, 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 I think you you got that on your last life, so you didn't have a chance to test it, oh, right. I think you just went, went straight to the... Uh, the uh, you know the the game over thing. Well, I know I've got to go. So you have to go over, don't you? Yeah. Well, I've got this pop. I've got this ah. one. Yeah, yeah, you've done this already. Oh, you can't turn around though on it, so it's like I've got to go back over there. Mister Nuts there. <laughs> you're, not, you're not doing too bad though. This is where I died last time, though, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. But you did do this first bit quite well though. You just need to uh, jump. jump quicker. Checkpoint. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was the checkpoint. <laughs> I'm actually quite impressed, actually, that they managed to get checkpoints in there mm. in this demo version before they abandoned it. Yeah. Don't have to say you're going all the way back, don't it? Yeah. To that's but that's start alone. Yeah. yeah, that's what a checkpoint does. No, I mean, it saves you doing it on a demo because that would be like. Yeah, because that's what a checkpoint does. Shut up. <laughs> it's not a complete game, though. <laughs> Up yours, Mr. Squibble. So angry, so angry. Why so angry, Mr. Yeah, Squibble? Why so angry? Don't know. Do you reckon he used I to be I don't know like... what that act. That wasn't even an accent. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I'm sorry. I reckon he used to be like part of the cast of Animals of Farthing Wood or something. And then since the show got cancelled, he's like just taking it out on on Joe. Oh, Do you know what I mean? Like this little kid Joe. I comes love. Along. I love Animals of Farthing Wood. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? This little kid called Joe comes along with his hat and his nudity. <laughs> I just love that. In fact, I've got I've got the DVD box set of it somewhere. And he's like, I don't like that kid. I'm just gonna throw it. <laughs> yeah. Over. I just personally like even just watching you play this, and the fact that we've got the means to even play it. I, I I've always had a fascination with cancelled games, and not just on the CDI actually, with kind of any system really. Just cancelled yeah. games, games that were meant to be a thing once upon a time and never saw the light of day, and yet we're still able to play. Even if it's just some of it. Um, you still get to experience bits of certain games that never made it. And I like the fact that you can sort of do that on certain games. And sure, it always fascinates it? me, yeah. Another toothbrush. Sonic, definitely a Sonic special. Yeah, Did -dum. Did -dum. <laughs> so this is where I got to last time. But where do I go now then? So, do I have to drop down onto that balloon? Yeah. So you, yes, yeah, so I think what you have oh, to do is you have to you have to jump over it. So you have to make, wait until that's it. No, no. What I meant was, you know, you went over that other balloon. Yeah, you should have gone on that one. Actually, stood on it and then gone through. And then jump through over his face or use the balloons one by one to navigate yeah. across, but just avoid the fire. Yeah. Which well, that's just what it looks like to me anyway. Oh, I was on it, wasn't I? And you have to go back because the balloons just are, are too high. They're just too high. So if you do fall down, it's quite long-winded to get back up again. Mm. But you can't fall on one light, I don't think, on colour and how it looks visually. Especially for the time. Oh, well. shut up. Alright, I'm talking about visuals and <laughs> colour. God. Sorry I spoke, you know. Right. Right now, no. <laughs> See, now when I said stand on the balloon. It's twitchy though, these controls, mate. <laughs> they are fiddly, no. Like, on a serious note, they are. I found that when I played it briefly a while back. You've got to be so. You're lucky to even avoid no, that. No. <laughs> I know. Just... Talk about a proper near miss. <laughs> Blind me. Um, yeah, no, I had the same to be fair. Oh, come on. It's just going through it now. You've got to be like so pinpoint, haven't you? Indeed, you do. I don't like this, dude. Right. 
No, don't rush it. Take your time. There Boom. you go. Right, go up. That's it. Boom. Yeah, I think we... Oh, no! No! Oh! oh. No, you, oh. You, 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 could have, you could have still gone left and you'd have been all right. Just... Ah, oh, you've done it. Yeah, it's fine. So what's the bird at us? Nothing? Yeah. Oh, is that the end? I don't know. Climb it. Can You can climb that. Go on, climb on. Climb it, climb it, climb it, climb it, climb it. <laughs> that is that isn't a sonic reference, I don't know what it is. <laughs> what there is another level Yeah man. And it's got arrows, so I know where we're going. Okay. Is that a washing machine? Is it those balloons take you anywhere or not? Uh, oh. Yeah. Ah, oh, there's like a load of items. See what I mean? Where would Chucks be without me? You know? <laughs> where would I be? Because you're one of those kids when you're younger where you just wanted to smash through the game. <laughs> I was one of those kids where like you had to, I had to get every single secret and every single item in order to feel like the game had been fully completed. It was you one of those kids where you just wanted to smash through <laughs> yeah, the just quickest, get, get, get for it. The quickest route. <laughs> in fact, if you've made it this far in the video, guys, let us know underneath. What kind of kid was you? Was you the one that, like, say, <laughs> Super Mario World, you had to find all the routes into Star World, for example. Is that good? Um, would. Or, um, did you, was you just the kid that wanted to get through the game in the quickest route possible, forget about collecting stuff and finding all the secret exits? That made a noise, yeah. Yeah, just turned it on. Do you reckon it's checkpoint? Checkpoint. Dunno. <laughs> Possibly. Oh, no, it's a... Oh. What's that on? That's not... Oh! oh. No, what? There was a secret ledge. Ho oh, ho! Secret ledge! <laughs> secret ledge, secret boy! Ledge. Secret Do you reckon ledge. that is meant to be secret or do you reckon that's just a glitch? Like, because it's an unfinished If it game. is a glitch, I'm glad it's there. Because where, how, how else would you have got up there? I reckon, yeah, like if they'd finished it, it would have been like another one of another those red things. Yeah. I reckon it was just like two or three platforms that take you up. That's a, I reckon that's a check. That's, check that's like Sonic. That's like, like, you know, like when you click the thing, it goes like blue to red, like whatever. What really gets me is that especially when you complete the last level, that was like from Sonic 1, dun -dun 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 -dun. Mm. but yet that sound's been being used on a CDI game. Yes, it's a prototype, but on a CDI game coming out of the CDI system, I'm wondering, were they allowed to do that? Like, Sega must have known about that, like in the early stages of this game. It must have been a temporary thing where they said, let's say, look, we won't use it in the final edit. You say the spring's like the same. And if you notice, it's exactly the, you, the same though. It's yeah, exactly like when he flips and stuff. Where do I go now? Yeah. Uh, down? Do you go through that? You see there's a gap. Oh, oh right, yeah. Yeah, I honestly reckon that um, it must have been a temporary thing and they would have changed them eventually because Se Sega would never have let them do that. What a... Kills you, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> yeah, it's checkpoint. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. I have to admit though, I mean, I've never seen this level before. I mean, as I said, I'd only briefly played the first. It looks really nice. Like, yeah, I, I yeah. like, I generally just like the whole kind of... See, that's a Sonic noise as well. Like when Sonic what skids. What's going on? How, <laughs> it's scary how close to Sonic this is though. Do you know what I mean? In terms of like the references and it's really bizarre. You could replace Joe with Sonic and it could still not look out of place. You know yeah. what I mean? I wonder if anybody from Sega worked on this game. <laughs> well, they, must have, they must have at least have been aware of it when they were creating it. I just, I'm just really intrigued as to how, you know, how it kind of came about because they're so close, those sounds. In fact, some of the sounds are exactly the same. Oh, water, water kills you even when it's dripping on you. Oh, is that your last oh, life? Oh, last life, mate. Oh, mate, because you, you'd have to do the first level again. <laughs> that, was, that was awesome. I'm, I would probably hazard a guess. Would they have got much further than that in terms of another level? I don't know, but don't know, mate. if there is only the two levels, you probably weren't too far off. Who knows how much longer that level would have gone on for. But, well done, mate. I mean, you've not... Chuck hasn't played it before and he got onto the second level, so... <laughs> further than I did. So I think that was a job well done. Boom. So, I mean, you've not spoke too much about it, really. I've kind of spoken a lot. I'm only second. So someone's got further than me. <laughs> Some unknown. <laughs> and that boo's gone as well. Yeah. Maybe it just constantly, like, changes. It must be. But I, I don't know. I'm on the board now, anyway, so... You are... Well, but then you might disappear after now because oh. Boo disappeared, didn't it? God damn you! <laughs> when you do die, it resets. I don't know. Maybe it just resets, and then would it go random, back to the first? Maybe yeah. you get random scores as well. Would it go back to first level? Uh, I would have thought so. There's no. It doesn't say you don't get continues. You wouldn't have got that far. Yeah. No, I I, I would almost be certain you start again. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, but then. you did well to get to that level, mate. And <laughs> I didn't have to have a go because it's not about me. So that's that's that was cool. Yeah, I, I think this is like the first one in the series where you haven't had to take over. And it's the first prototype, <laughs> and you've still never played it before. <laughs> so does that mean that? That means it's a good game. Like it. <laughs> Well, it's an easy game. Like, it's just like a fun, Ish. quirky easy platformer Ish. game. Obviously, it would have been a lot better if they did actually have completed it. But I would have liked to have. I think if they had, because obviously being a CDI owner and, and Shox knows how much I love the system. Yeah, you can all say it wasn't great, and I agree with that too. But I also think there are some hidden gems on there anyway. I think generally, if that had been completed back in the day, I would have got it. Yeah, it's like something you like. I would love to yeah. have seen the music on there though. And yeah, the extra sprites and extra enemies and. Just what extra level like Sonic sounds in as well, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I just don't think personally Sega would let them because they never had any good dealings with, Se with Sega. They did with mm. Nintendo on the whole CD add-on fiasco, but not with Sega as far as I'm aware, really. I mean, there was never any like, there was Hotel Mario, yeah. Zelda and Link, but Sonic never made its appearance on the CDI. So and just to let you know, there's the, that's pollution there, look. Oh, Can yeah. you see the chemical? Pollution. Chemical spillage on R9. Yeah, someone called Captain Planet. <laughs> to go to go, to go <laughs> clean up shop <laughs> clean up shop <laughs> but until then we will see you in the next episode of the CDI experience um, thank you for watching yeah really hope you guys enjoyed it uh, yeah enjoy us enjoy us no that sounds enjoy, wrong no, that's um, right. join us that's what I was meant to I say I think it's time to point before we get any deeper join, yeah. Yeah. join us yeah. for the um, next episode yeah <laughs>